So my name is Warren Officer Class 2 Neville Pace. So I'm the Squadron Sergeant Major uh, for 3 Field Squadron in South Australia, which is a subunit to um, uh, 1027th Royal Australian uh, Regiment. One of my soldiers was at a point, there was a lot of things going on in their life, uh, you know, at an army point and a civilian point, because you know, we're all reservists, and life was just dumping on him. Blokes don't really like to talk too much, you know, in army, you know, male and female guys, we just can be a little bit reserved. And so having that conversation and talking, that opened that door to us to understand where where that person was from a at, at a mental health level. We could ask that question, uh, are you thinking about self-harm? Are you thinking about suicide? Openly, after completing the training, it felt very natural just to ask that question and then to then step forward and then take the appropriate action in regard to the response that I got. The reality, the person said, yes, I am thinking about self-harm. I am thinking about suicide. That's how bad this situation was. And so when we asked the question, that, that impact on them was almost like a revelation for them going, okay, that's, where, that's how bad I am. And it made them realise where they were on the spectrum of, uh, of their mental health at that point. It was a hard conversation, but we had the framework and the, uh, and the substance around him at that point in time to help him get to the next stage and, uh, uh, of that journey of recovery. So being a mental health first aider, my aspiration and what I'd like to see uh, uh, bleeding out through armies. I'd love to see all of my sergeants mental health first aid trained. I'd love to see all my officers mental health first aid trained. So at any point in time, it's not just one, you've got a, you've got a, a net of like everyone who's looking for the similar things in our soldiers, because it's easy for a soldier to fall through the net. But if you've got a, a screen of people that are looking and understand the signs and the symptoms of those aspects, then they can be grabbed quickly, almost like a work health and safety incident. We actually make this the time where you can actually openly talk about your mental health. Having that conversation, having the framework that exists with the tools available to actually then direct people in the right direction. Anyone can have a conversation that may save a life. Everyone should know how.